Hello and welcome back to D3D12Es here on the Lurtech Fusel channel. Now in today's video we're going to explore the full screen mode for our window. Now in the last videos uh, we set it up a window, we added a swap chain to the window and we implemented that the swap chain always follows the window size. So if I now start my application, uh, we're going to get a, a, a black window, we can move it, we can resize it and the swap chain is always going to automatically adapt and the swap chain is the area which we're going to later on use to draw into. Now, however, uh, one thing that I don't like about this window is it does it uh, not allow full screen. So normally we want to have a full screen. You can see the taskbar is visible, the header is visible, but for three-dimensional games and 3D rendering, we in general want to have a full screen mode so that the whole screen is covered by our window. And of course we can do that. Now, uh, to do that, we need to need know which mode of full screen we want to do. There are two modes of full screen, exclusive full screen and borderless full screen. Now, we're going to use borderless full screen because it is the full screen mode that you should go to. In general, if you're writing an application, always go borderless full screen mode, except there is a really good reason to use exclusive. Now, in the older days, exclusive was the only way to go. Nowadays, borderless is the better way. All optimizations of Windows are tuned to a support borderless mode, and uh, it's in, in general better. It's more user friendly. Everything is better in borderless. Now, the main difference is exclusive full screen mode earlier on, uh, it basically told Windows, hey, Windows, I want to take control of the monitor. And then Windows kind of like uh, chain uh, or connected the, the monitor away from the desktop manager to the application, and then the application was driving it uh, all by its uh, by its own and nowadays uh, we want to have borderless full screen mode borderless full screen mode in general um, handles um, you have the interaction with the desktop manager way better if you have a like borderless full screen uh, window that's not full screen it, it is going to be handled like a normal window and as soon as it covers the entire screen optimizations are turned on automatically full screen optimizations and everything will be way better and way more user-friendly than with the classical window. So what we're going to do, borderless. Now, how do we do it? Well, we're going to write a function that allows us to toggle it. So void uh, set uh, full screen, and then we're going to have a boolean enabled. So one single thing here to enable or disable full screen mode. Now let's go into implementation and let's take a look on how it works. Well, um, actually you need to know how Windows works. How Windows, Windows work. <laughs> so the Windows of Windows. Now we created a window somewhere above here. This is the window that we created. And this window that we created is a, a overlapped window and overlapped window means that our window has a border, that our window has a title bar, that we have minimize and maximize bars, that we have a close button, that we have a title that we can click. That basically means um, overlap window. And what we want to do is we want to change that from overlap window to a certain style that allows a borderless full screen mode. And the borderless full screen mode style that we want to use is something called WS Popup. So if I right click here in Visual Studio, you can see that I get this pop-up menu. And you can see that this pop-up menu, it's different than like any Visual Studio window. It does not have like a title bar or like a border. If I make Windows Visual Studio like that, you can see that I have like a border that I can drag. And there are many, many features in here that um, are kind of like available because it is a, a, a overlapped window. However, this is a pop-up window. You can see the pop-up window doesn't have a border. It is basically just a, a empty drawing canvas. So Visual Studio is drawing its menu on top of it. So this is completely in an empty window and the pop-up is used to kind of like uh, be a drawing canvas. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to create a pop-up window and make it fit the whole screen. So how do we write our functions? Well, we of course first uh, need to copy our styles. So what I want to do is I want to have a style which is these ones uh these ones and then i'm gonna have an x style and the x style is gonna be the extended window style that we have and this is where we're gonna start because if we want to disable our full screen mode we want to restore these styles so these are kind of like our initial styles and then what i'm going to do is if i am enabling my full screen mode then i'm going to alter my styles now how do i alter my styles well style it's going to be equal WS pop-up, not pop-up window, just pop-up because pop-up window has a border and the border is bad. We want to have WS pop-up as a plain pop-up window. As well, we need the WS visible to keep our window visible on the screen. The extended style, it's quite simple. We're just going to remove overlap window, but not going to provide any more extended style. I think there are, maybe there is a WSX pop-up. 
No, there isn't even uh, extended styles for pop-up windows, but we don't need them, right? We just need pop-up, visible, app window. In app window is something that we wouldn't even need, but it's kind of like uh, a thing that you might want to do on your main window. Now, this is kind of like the code to determine a window style. And now uh, the only thing left to do is we need to actually apply the window style. How do we apply the window style? Uh, we're going to call the uh, set window long pointer function. So the set, uh, not even pointer, no, just the set window long w. That's the function we want to call for my window. And then we need an index um, gvl style. This is kind of like how the style is encoded on Windows uh, and how you do it for, for Windows. So the window has kind of like a storage of multiple long values uh, and one of these is the style and then we have also the X style and by set window long we can basically update the internal um, style and extended style of a window. So we have these styles, we define them and then we push them through the window uh, by calling the set window long w function. This is how it works. There can be multiple things set it up with the set window long, for example, the window proc, but this is like a long pointer and there are many, many differences between what is what, what needs a pointer, what does not need a pointer. However, our w word stage is going to go in like that. Now if we uh, write our function like that, it's quite easy and we can easily use it. However, there's one thing that is missing and we currently miss um, the feed functionality to actually get uh, if our window is currently maximized and uh, we also need to keep track of if it's maximized. So let's add a boolean. M is uh, full screen, not maximize full screen. And by default, our window is not full screen. I want to have an inline function that returns that. So inline bool is full screen const and then i'm going to return that one and of course we need to update this value so somewhere down here uh, we're going to set this to be equal not to enum to enabled there we go and now we're going to keep track internally if we have the full screen enabled now what i want to do uh, additionally is i want to also check uh, when I want to enable or disable full screen on my window, I want to enable full screen window uh, when the F11 button is pressed. This is a common thing. We can do this at the uh, at the key down function. W um, key down is the message that basically is sent when a button is pressed. And uh, what I want to do is I want to check if I think it's the double param equals uh, VK F11, so virtual key code 11. And if this is the case, then I want to say set full screen to uh, not is full screen so i basically want to toggle that but okay like we need an instance here so let's add get here so get set full screen to get is full screen so we basically want to toggle on uh, f11 if this is now working then everything is good and we might want to switch this to L param, but I think it's in W param. Now, if I now press F11, yeah, you can see. You can see that basically our window styles are disappearing. You can see that we now just have a black box on our screen. We have no handles to drag them. It is exactly the edge. And as soon as I click over, I'm in Visual Studio. So now we basically removed all of our window styles, including the title bar and everything, and now have a black window. If I press F11 again, you can see that the borders come back. If I press F11, they kind of like merge into that black box and actually what you can uh, observe here is uh, this the window size is currently not changing the client area size is changing but not the window size if i press f11 the window size currently is the same than previously the client area now is bigger but the window size is the same the window size is the same because all this title bar and this drag and drop area where i can like click in and drag all of these um these, these things need space in our window and this is why our window is actually bigger than it looks like and of course, if I resize my window, the black box also resizes because it is following our window size. And that's the next thing that we need to change. We need to change that our window follows the current size. So this is basically here, update window styling. So this is updating the styling for toggling uh, the full screen mode. The next thing that we need to do is we need to adjust window size. So how do we do that? If we are enabling the full screen mode we need to adjust the window size now how big shall our window be well it shall be as big 
as our current screen. How can we do that? Well, we need to get a bit of information from our monitor. Now, what we have done previously, somewhere above here in the constructor, I have used the uh, monitor from point function uh, to get a monitor from point, and then I use the monitor info and the struct and get monitor info w to get the size of the monitor. So what I want to do is I want to copy that and then I want to alter the code a bit. Now, in general, we want to do the exact same thing, but the only thing that we want to change, we don't want to get it from point. We actually want to get it from window. We want to get it from the current window. So I'm going to input a window and instead of default uh, to primary, default to nearest. So what we want to do is we want to uh, get the monitor where our window is currently living on. We can do this, monitor from window and all of these arguments. So we get a monitor handle. We're then going to try to get this struct. And if we can do that, we can now go in and resize our window. Now, how do we resize our window? Well, it's actually quite simple. In the monitor info, we now have a RC monitor, and this RC monitor is specifying the complete bounds of the window, including left, right, bottom, width, and height. So what I want to do is now set window um, position is the function I want to call. So I want to change the position of my window. I don't want to change the insert. However, I want to change the X value. The X value is now coming from the monitor info RC monitor right. This is our uh, X value. And then we need our Y value, which comes from the RC monitor top. This is the Y value. Then we need the width and the height. Uh, the width is quite simple. We, uh, sorry, this needs to be the left, of course. Uh, the right minus the, the left. That's, that's kind of like the idea here. Then we have the bottom minus the top to calculate the bounds. And then we need some flex, uh, Z window position. Um, uh, we don't want to, uh, uh, no owner set uh, order, whatever. We can provide some things to kind of like do not um, basically tell you which arguments are not used. But I don't think this was that one. Um, what was it? No activate, no move, no reposition, no Z order. This is what I want to call. Now, and this is basically changing the window's position and size in one call to the size of the monitor. So the idea is that the window is now as big as our monitor. So if I press F11, you can see I have a complete black box. If I press F11 again, I uh, kind of like have my window back in the style that it kind of looks nice. However, you can see since it kind of like reflects the size that it previously had, it's a bit, it's a bit ugly to, to navigate. And what we can do is uh, we can basically, in case uh, we're not going to enable it, we can basically snap it to maximize so that it kind of like fits the screen. It doesn't look too bad. And I kind of like the monitor or the window to be maximized when it gets created. So uh, I want to call the show window function in case I'm not maximizing to full screen. Uh, and then I want to uh, show window uh, maximize here to maximize the window if I deactivate my full screen mode. So now you have the window, I press F11, it's completely full screen, it's completely black, I press F11 again, we have a maximized window that fits in our screen. I kind of like hate that it has like, uh, it's showing the desktop through, but I'm not here to fix that bug. That might be something that I fix in the future uh, because we're gonna use full screen, right? Full screen is the best thing that we wanna do. So what I wanna do is I wanna add a line in here and after we have created my window, DXW, uh, gets that uh, full screen true and then we basically uh, are on full screen mode here so that's exactly what we want now one thing that we might want to slap in I don't think that we need it might be we might need to do this in the future we might want to actually uh, set the requires resize if we are resizing because it might not require that because the, the size message might not be changed but the current implementation I think it should be um, we're going to see if it later on fails if it fails we're going to gonna add this on later in here. All right, so now you can see our application starts with a maximized window. All the four, I can tap out of the window. And since it's borderless, right, if I want to tap out of it during uh, the run of my application, I can definitely do that. I can tap out. It's, it's here in the background. Um, it, it's going to be always there. I can tap in here. I can also press F11, take the window resize it to my needs. So actually everything is now working on our window and that's what we want to do, right? This is uh, Windows Windows 101. How to create a nice little window that basically does the job for you. That's basically it.
All right, so I uh, hope you enjoyed making the window full screen. It's actually quite a much time for such a small thing to do, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and have a nice day. Bye.